Hello, food science. Today we are going to be making Altoids. You can flavor this with any flavor you want, but I will be using peppermint extract. So in order to make uh, Altoids, you'll be using four cups powdered sugar, one fourth cup water, and about a tablespoon of peppermint extract and about a tablespoon of corn syrup, unflavored gelatin, and these are optional materials. So let's get started. The first step is to put your one fourth cup of water into a pan and you are to sprinkle this unflavored gelatin on top of the water. And what you will be looking for when this gelatin is sprinkled on the water is to have a foamy top. So this will take approximately five minutes to form. And I'm making it very hard for Paige to film. <laughs> Alright, good enough. Alright. Now that we mix this, we put it on the burner. Lay stove. And turn this on so you can see. Which is barely? Yeah, it didn't help so much. And we will be mixing this up until it is clear. And the gelatin will dissolve. And um, that should take um, a while, so I'll uh, see you in a minute. All right, go. All right, now we have been mixing this for approximately three minutes, and it is clear, and the gelatin has been dissolved. So we turn off our low heat and I just feel like they should appreciate um, our little uh, um, I don't even know what that's called that thing you, that you put the pot on because yeah. it's hot. Yeah. Alright, now that we've you're done being dorks, let's go. Okay. Um, we get our mixing pot and we pour our mixture into the pot and Paige is over my shoulder. I got this. Alright. Now, we pour the powdered sugar into our mixing pot. It's a bowl. Bowl. Oops. You spilt it. Yep. You fail. Yep. F. All surfaces have been cleaned. All surfaces and hands have been clean. Even the cameraman's hands are clean and I'm not even touching anything. Man. Camera woman. Alright. Now we mix this together. And for a little bit I will be mixing this with a spatula but then eventually I'm going to use my hands because it will get hard for me to mix. You're probably going to need me to powder your surface for you. You're not going to do a whole lot of powdering yeah. with dough stuck here. <laughs> our handy camera woman will be powdering our surface. Um, here's our powdered sugar. My hand looks really weird. 
<laughs> I can't do it. I can't have my hand looking weird on camera. Okay, and we're gonna like sprinkle it on the counter. And we're gonna like Okay, so you wanna spread it out pretty even, but lightly. You don't wanna be able to like really see it. It's just kinda like a film. And it's to keep the dough from sticking to the counter. Like it is my hands. Like it is my hands. Because, like, eventually, after you roll it out to a certain point, it's not going to be so sticky. It's going to be kind of like, um, I want to say clay. It comes, it comes into, like, a clay-like texture to it. Okay, you can move the bowl back. That's sufficient. All right. how it's supposed to be. More powdered sugar? Yes. It's supposed to... It, it's not gonna be syrupy because I've made these before and okay well it says about a pound of confectioner sugar and it said about four cups but that bag we had was two pounds so it should be halfway gone. I need you to... oh wait you're not gonna hold the camera. Sorry. I'm being an idiot. Alright hold Pause it. No. They have to see all the non-savory experiences. Alright, so the powdered sugar is not halfway gone and so since this is a two pound bag I will pour it until it reaches this point. Oh god, it's on the back. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Um, thanks a whole lot, teeny tiny hole. Okay, that, that's sufficient. Try that. Well, if he comes into the kitchen, he's going to have to get his left. No. See, That's this better. is this is a better consistency where it's kind of sticking to your hands, but you can pull it off, and it's not like slimy. It's this is slimy. this is a whole okay. It's always gonna be kind of slimy, but it's not gonna be real wet. And you you should probably end up with a little bit of sugar like left on the edges of the bowl where it hasn't quite mixed in until you get kind of like a dough. I'm trying that, to pick it all up. That's as good as it's getting for you. I'm just picking it up. Okay. And they want you to knead it out until it no longer sticks to your hands. And uh, we have Dad, knower of all things. Yeah. And then after I scrape this off, then get for. You use it with the spatula. No, get get from between your fingers. Rub okay. your fingers together and work it out. Yeah. Try to get it all in there. Yeah. Because now when you start working with it, it's not gonna stick to your hands so bad. I don't think. Okay. There. We had to add some more powdered sugar to get it to not be so sticky until it got to the point where we could, it started to thread and come off in little pieces and get to dough-like consistency. It's still sticky. Did you put some kind of Just, oil on the counter or something when you rolled it out? No, powdered sugar. powdered sugar. Okay, so you put it on a bed of powdered sugar when yeah. you roll it? Hmm? Not a bed. Well, like well, a, a, a dusting. Pattern, a dusting yeah. But you're just gonna have to knead it until it doesn't stick anymore. Yeah, and just keep adding powdered sugar until it turns into a dough and knead it. Alright, can I do it with my hands now? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd put powdered sugar on your hands. Get it out. Alright, 
That's what you need to do. Keep putting powdered sugar. I'll keep. Here, do this. Dump some out on the counter. And then keep dusting your hands with powdered sugar. As you go back to the dough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Until, you know, just rub it all over and then and then knead that dough. Until you get it the way you want it. Well, tell me when you get it to the point where it's not so good at your hands. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Um, is, it, right. is it taking any more? No. After the dough gets to the point where it's not sticking in your hands, you're going to take your extract your, your peppermint extract or your extract of choice. I made coconut the last time. And depending on how strong you want it to be, tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, whatever you're feeling that day. And since mints are generally stronger, we put like three quarters of a tablespoon in there, I believe. And peppermint extract is really strong. So that should be pretty sufficient. All right. Now, don't lay Adding the peppermint extract. And we will mix this in. And it will start to stick to your hands yet again. And you just have to knead it until it doesn't anymore. And then if it gets on the counter, just wipe it up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But I tell you what, don't get it too too uh, much powdered sugar in there, otherwise they're gonna uh, break. Want to break? Yeah, mm -hmm. they want to I think we're, we'll break. be good now. Yeah, I think it's good. See, it's not sticking as bad. Right. No, that's that's about right. You yeah. want it to be slightly sticky. Yeah. Not slightly dry. Yeah. Okay, and then use whatever powdered sugar you need need to to get it rolled out. Yeah. Now that the peppermint smells like potent or now that the kitchen smells like peppermint, now that the peppermint smells like kitchen. Alright. Now that we can roll this out. Excuse me. Yeah, lightly dusted kind of just didn't work out. It was heavily dusted. Well, it's and it's uh some some junk there. That's some dough residue. And we're going to knead it out until it is an eighth of an inch thick. Carly. I'm working on it. Eighth of an inch. Okay. Yeah. And um, eighth of an inch, about the thickness of an Altoid. That much? I gotta film this. Hold on, wait. Dad, oh. knower of all things, knows that if you put the plastic cutting board on top of it and you press on it, it is easier to get a consistent thickness because the pressure is evenly distributed right. by the plastic. Uh -oh. Oh. It was sticking a little bit. That's good. That's all right. Say lovey. So stop talking. What do you think? That's pretty good. Thickness? Yeah, I think that's about right. Okay. The dough doesn't stick into the straw. 
but see sometimes it will it'll come out in the straw and you have to push it out Come on, let's find something to make them a little bit bigger. That's ridiculous. Dad. Okay, hold on. You know what you need? Uh, Alright. Um, after a couple minutes of deliberation, we have come to the conclusion that we will use this spoon and we will dig out a spoon-sized portion of the dough. Yeah, and keep working from the edge like what I did so mm -hmm. that you don't, you know, that way you don't have to re-roll it and all that, you know what I'm saying? And then you use the back of the other spoon to dig it out, then you will roll it, and they will form these little balls. And then these little balls will be placed in a cup with powdered oh, you sugar need in them. More sugar than that. I need more. Okay. <laughs> here, do that here. Well, here, let me take it out so it's not like buried. Here you go, hand me that powdered sugar. Let's see. Throw them in here. Okay. And this okay. will keep them from sticking together. And then after we're done and we need to pull them out, we will use this nifty thing. Yeah, and we'll, and we'll just do this. We'll just take this and... And uh, the powdered sugar will uh, go through and the uh, little balls will not. There's your apple. There we are. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so that's what you want to do. Just go ahead and put about 30 of them in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There they are. Are they cute? Well, can wipe off the counters later. Just keep, you know, keep doing this so that they don't, you know. They don't stick together. Every once in a while, after you put about 10 or 12 of them in there, start around, you know. Okay. And I don't think we need to film this. Do we need to film this? Well, here, let me do it one more time. Okay. Review. But yeah, that's a good size apple. Don't you think? Yep. I agree. They're very nice. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. They're decent. I like the balls. How they're in little balls instead of flat. Mm -hmm. Instead of little flat men's. We could always squish them if we wanted them to be flat, mm -hmm. I guess. I like them like this. All right, are we done? Let's see. In order to make this process a little faster and rolling up the balls into these shapes, we divided the dough into strips and I will be cutting in the opposite direction to make each individual ball. Those sit for 48 hours to become hard enough to be little Altoids. Now we have made approximately 200 Altoids. They all have to dry for at least 48 hours to reach solid solidity. And there you have it. Those are our optional materials. Fancy. Could you just dump it in there? I thought you said sprinkle. Oh, well, you know, sprinkle, dump. That works too. Well, here, get your bowl out of the way and I'll powder the surface. I mean, get your bowl out of the way, not just like kind of out of the way in the corner, like move it to the other counter, like pick it up. I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh, no, doing don't, this. don't do it. You're going to like drop it. It's a porcelain bowl. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Okay. I put commentaries on the bottom and I'll say, listen to the man in the background. Dad, knower of all things. <laughs> Drinker of Mountain Dew. <laughs> Did he get him on your own? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Because you learn that in physics. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't? I learned that I learned that in integrated chemistry and physics. <laughs>
Mr. Anderson will watch this. But see, see, oh, well, really? look at it the way I do. I see everything in this. Dad <laughs> is the knower of all, all the things. things. All of them. He's all right. Really cool. Is that?